Yesterday evening at the Atlas Public House, Mayors Stephen Fulop of Jersey City and Ravi Bal of Hoboken had the opportunity to meet and greet members of the LGBTQ community, an event organized by Executive Director of the Hudson Pride Connection Center, Michael Billy Bisogno. Both mayors spoke about the importance of diversity to the audience and also provided a personal account that they say taught them a valuable lesson about the importance of diversity. Here is what they said. I was um, born and raised in New Jersey and I went to the public schools. Uh, as a sick American, I um, looked different growing up. I wasn't um, like other uh, uh, school children in, in my class and I was a, a victim of school bully. Uh, just as many uh, many uh, gay American students uh, who are youngsters are victims of school bully. And it's not an easy experience to be different, to be isolated, to feel like there's no one there. And back in the, it must have been the 70s and 80s, when I had to confront that, the resources that we have today weren't there in terms of the law and the, the policies and programs to prevent school bullying. And I had no one to turn to but my, my parents, my family. But what I learned is that when you look different or when you uh, love different, uh, the, the reaction if you are under attack is not to hide who you are, but to be, to be proud of who you are. And that's what gives you strength. And that's what gave me strength. And that's what this country is about. That's why we're here as Americans, because we're all equal under the law, no matter how you love, how you worship, what you look like. I grew up in a uh in a not so diverse household that was an immigrant family, a Holocaust survivors, um, and uh, I, I would classify them as fairly introverted. Like, I didn't have many friends with many different backgrounds growing up. I went to a very orthodox Jewish background school because my family wanted me to have that education because most of my family was persecuted in the Holocaust when they immigrated here. When I ran for city council, it was actually my first exposure to a lot of different communities here back in 2005. And um, I, I learned a lot through that process. I, I, I like to point to the fact that the Muslim community here as a Jewish American uh, probably taught me the most. Uh, they were the first community to reach out to me. I went to them because I was running against this whole political organization in Hudson County. Most of you know that have experienced it. It's a really hard thing to do. Yeah. And so I didn't think I didn't think that I didn't think there was a possibility of really winning, let alone I didn't know who was going to be there to support me. And uh, this Muslim community on Montgomery reached out and they said they'd come to the mosque and they'd like you to meet the leadership there. And just like my first experience ever being in a setting with, uh, you know, 50 prominent Muslim leaders, let alone the Muslim community. And they asked me a lot of the same questions that you care about and that I care about and the African American community cares about, about schools and policing and lights and all sorts of things that affect quality of life here. And I remember I was leaving that meeting and the Imam said to me, he says, he goes, full up, he goes, that's a strange last name. What, what's your background? And uh, I remember rather than saying that uh, I was Jewish, I thought about it, I said, I'm Eastern European. And I left and I felt so bad about myself. I felt that if my grandmother had heard me say that and be embarrassed about who I was because of political reasons, she would roll over in her grave, being that like, really, most of my family died in the Holocaust. And so I said I would never do that again. And if I ever got the opportunity to serve, I would make sure that I really lead from the front of making sure that we have the most inclusive, never judgmental, welcoming city and community and ward that I could ever be a part of. Um, I, I was proud. Yeah. This is Mark Busanich reporting from Jersey City for Hudson County View, the eye of the community.